Hi, I'm Tyson Hughes and I'm an educator at Crow Canyon Archaeological Center. And I want to talk a little bit with you guys about what we do at Crow Canyon. Uh, we're an archaeological center, so that probably means that we do archaeology, right? But what is archaeology? If we look at the word itself and break it into two bits, we have this archaeo component, the first part, and that essentially just means old, right? Ancient. And ology, that just means the study of something or the science. So, Really, this is a science, or the study of old things. Now, there are lots of old things in this world. Do you think that archaeologists study all of the old things? My grandparents are old. Maybe they're studied by archaeologists? Probably not. Not necessarily anyways, right? Really, what archaeologists are looking at is old stuff from people who maybe were around in the past and are not really available or accessible or alive today. So, it's actually a subdiscipline of anthropology. And anthropology, anthro means people, ology means study of, is the study of people. So, we are trying to understand people who lived in the past. Now, these people aren't necessarily around. It's not like we can just go up to them and ask them about the way that they live and, and what their life is like. So, we have to use other lines of evidence to try to understand who these people were, how they lived. And what we use to kind of formulate our understandings are things like artifacts, right? Things maybe like this. Now we also may look at things like their houses, right? So here's a model of a prehistoric house. Maybe that's something that we could look at if there are, you know, rem remains left behind, remnants of it. Um, we call those things features. If you can't pick them up like an artifact like this and put it on a display shelf in a museum, if it's attached to the landscape like that house is, we kind of differentiate between those two things. Um, what's really important when we're studying these, these artifacts, these features, these, these bits of material culture, tangible objects left behind by people, is that we understand the relationship that these things have with each other and sometimes the relationship that these things may have with the natural environment. So archaeology is interesting in the sense that we use geology, we use biology, we use environmental studies, um, we maybe even talk to descendants of the people who lived a long time ago, and we take all of these different bits of information and compile them to try to get an understanding of people's culture. Now, everybody has a culture. There are many cultures in the world today, and there were many cultures prehistorically too. And the reason that we, that we really are trying to understand these people's cultures is because we believe that we can learn from the past. Now, there are textbooks out there, there are history books out there, and those are resources that people can use to understand the past and maybe help guide some of the ways that we go about doing things in the future. Archaeology is another way of doing that. Um, the idea is that hopefully um, there are lessons that we can learn from their triumphs, maybe lessons we can learn from their failures, or maybe just a broader understanding of humanity in general. So, archaeologists, we're looking at artifacts, features, material culture is what I call that, and we are trying to kind of replicate or reproduce what the lives of these people might have been like. Now, that can be difficult because not everything lasts a really, really long time, right? So, here's an arrow, and it's made out of wood with some sinew and some bird feather fletchings on it, and a stone projectile point, or arrowhead, um, as they're sometimes referred to. Now, if this was left out in the environment for six, seven, eight hundred years, the wood wouldn't be here necessarily anymore, right? The sinew wouldn't be here, the feathers wouldn't be here, those components would have rotted away, would have decomposed. So maybe all that we would be left with is the projectile point, or the arrowhead. It's really important for archaeologists to recognize that what we're looking at is a small percentage of the stuff that they actually used, that they actually made, or modified, or utilized. Um, and those things tend to be things that are made out of stone, things that are made out of ceramic. Um, sometimes we find artifacts made out of bone that preserve pretty well. And sometimes, if the conditions are right, we may also find what we call perishable items. So things like a basket or maybe remnants of a corn cob that they had for dinner. 
Those sorts of things, if they're in the right environment, maybe in an alcove and it's really dry and they're not exposed to sunlight and things, will actually survive. And sometimes archaeologists find really, really old perishable items too, which once again help us make a better understanding of who these people were. Now, archaeologists, we use a process called observation and inference to understand these items. So what we do is we make observations. We use our senses. We use our fingers to feel an artifact, maybe, our eyes to observe it. Um, I don't think it's making any sound, but we could use our ears sometimes, maybe if we're trying to understand a bowl better. Maybe that could tell us something, right? Um, we make observations, and those are really just, you know, what we see, what we smell, what we hear, what we taste, maybe. Um, and we make inferences or educated guesses about those things. So if I were to find this at an archaeological site, I may infer, a, well, I would observe that it looks like a projectile point. And I could infer that this was attached to an arrow and it was used for hunting, right? That seems reasonable. It seems logical. Is that necessarily absolutely always going to be true, though? Maybe not. And archaeologists do have to recognize that sometimes our inferences may be a little off base. And so it's important that we keep studying, that we keep looking at these things with fresh eyes and fresh perspectives to expand our understandings of these things and get us to the right line of inference. Um, so archaeology, it's a science, it's a study, but why do we really do it? Why is that important? Now, People probably have been to museums, maybe historical landmarks, maybe you've even seen movies or heard stories about historic events. Um, these things are important to people, to humanity, right? And it's part of our, our, our combined record as, as, a, as a species, um, but it's also really, really particular to individual cultures as well. And so when we're looking at archaeology, specifically like here in the Southwest, for example, it's really important that we try to connect what we're finding in the archaeological record to the descendants of the people who lived a long time ago. And we're very fortunate that the descendants are here and that they can be really, really impactful as well in helping us understand what these ancient things are. So archaeology is essentially taking lots of different perspectives, views, using observation, using inference, to reconstruct how people in the past lived. So hopefully that helps you guys understand a little bit more about archaeology, and thanks for joining me.